I am here for my son who passed away of a drug overdose, accidental drug overdose on November 1st of 2017. Dozens gathered in downtown Edmonton Monday night for the International Overdose Awareness Day to remember the lives of those who died due to drugs. Rhonda Watt is just one of many moms who lost her 19-year-old son to a drug overdose. We actually found him and, and I'm a nurse too, so we did CPR on him and then he was pronounced in the hospital that I worked at. Watt says people who decide to take drugs alone need to understand the potential risks and do what they can to prevent them. Using alone is a dangerous practice. Eric chose to take his drugs alone and it was too late by the time we got there to save him. So, you know, it's the numbers are going to go through the roof and COVID's not going away. The international event is held every August to reduce the stigma associated with drug-related deaths. Volunteers put the call out for shoe donations, each pair a symbol of each life lost to drugs this past year. I bought a pair that my son Danny used to wear, his old, old hiking boots. So they, it's, they're very special to me. There are over 700 shoes representing people we lost in 2019. And uh, some of those that we, we lost this year, although the government really hasn't given us current numbers. The shoes will be donated to Boyle Street Services and other programs around the city. Scholl says this event not only lets families and friends grieve together, but also allows them to call for action as a group. Our two main asks right now are uh, safer supply, which is a pharmaceutical alternative to toxic street drugs, as well as the decriminalization of people who use drugs. Decriminalization creates stigma, and stigma means people hide their youth and use alone and too often die. The pandemic has led to a dramatic spike in overdose deaths across the country, Western Canada being the hardest hit. From Edmonton, Bailey Nitty, City News.